Hey guys, welcome to Creepy Pasta Thoughts, and today I'm going to be talking about Jeff the Killer, which was requested by Saber192. Now, if you're watching this, chances are you do not like Jeff the Killer, because let's face it, most people don't like Jeff the Killer, and the story really is not all that great. And I didn't even know this until one of you commented a while back, but Jeff the Killer has, is actually now uh, considered a troll pasta, which I think is pretty funny, because like I, I, this is one of the first creep creepy pastas that I ever read. So I went back just yesterday to read it again so I could have like a better remembrance of it when I did the, the I guess, review in a way. So I thought it was funny going back to it and it said that it was removed from the wiki but you could still read it here and it gave like a little hyperlink. And when I clicked on it, it brought me to the troll pasta wiki and it just made me laugh saying that it was a troll pasta. So if you don't know what Jeff the Killer is, basically... I'll give you a, somewhat of a rundown of the story. We can, I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to read it, if you haven't already. But pretty much, it's about a kid who, uh, I guess, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. Okay, so he gets into a fight with some kids, and his brother ends up going to jail, for taking action for like what he did. The next day, these kids at some party, they uh, they they end up pulling out guns and. They, they try to they try to beat him up he ends up killing the kids but in the process he gets like bleach and uh alcohol poured on him and caught on fire so he completely catches on fire and uh when he recovers from the hospital pretty much what happened is he he kills his parents and now he's some psycho killer that, that's pretty much the plot of the story just, just a simple rundown that's all you need to know so now i'll be honest at the start of the story, but the, when it very first, like, I think that the the beginning of the story in the middle, in some of the parts that they added in there, I thought, one or two parts in there I thought were kind of clever-ish in a way to put in there, and I think that maybe from the very beginning it had potential, but the way this was written just wasn't good. Like, I feel like if it were thought out more and they tried to use more logic and stuff, then maybe the story would have been better, but I think... You see, I don't want to say the story wasn't good because it wasn't scary, because a lot of creepypastas are not really scary. Because, I don't know, a lot of creepypastas aren't creepy, but they can still be good. So it doesn't it doesn't have to be scary for it to be good. But the biggest flaw that I think Jeff the Killer had was that it completely lacked logic. So, for example, at the beginning, uh, when, when Jeff and his brother Lou, I think that's how it's pronounced, it's spelled uh, L-I-U, I think it's pronounced Lou though. But anyways, him and his brother Lou, they go to the bus stop, uh, and because they move into a new neighborhood, and then these kids, they, who are 12 years old, and Jeff is 13, uh, that's important to know, uh, so these 12 year old kids, they end up actually pulling out knives, and they want to like, steal Jeff and Lou's money, and I just thought it was funny, he's trying to imagine like, a 12 year old, like, <laughs> that's four years younger than I am, so I'm trying to think of like, you know, a 12 year old, pulling out knives and trying to I don't know I, I can't I can't imagine that when you think of this you think of people who are younger like at least a teenager but not even and they're pulling out they're pulling out knives and, and doing all this stuff and it just didn't make sense I it was almost funny reading that in a way and what doesn't make sense even more is that Jeff he kicks their ass at this part but then later on they come to a party and they pull out guns so my question here is where did 12 year olds get a gun like honestly I I'm 16 years old and I would have trouble finding a gun I don't see how I could ever get a hold of a, a real gun so I'm wondering how did 12 year olds get a gun unless uh, it doesn't make sense it was never even explained so then uh, once again this huge fighting scene happens and Jeff ends up killing all of them and uh, then then the one kid the one kid sets Jeff on fire, like, before he dies, so obviously Jeff is on fire now, but, so, so, after Jeff recovers from being completely burned, and his face is extremely messed up, but after he recovers from this, he, was surprisingly, <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't even die from that, but let's just say that somehow he recovered, which he did in the story, what follows is really, like, mind-boggling, so, it's, it's, they're at home now, and it's at, like, at night or whatever, and Jeff is in the bathroom, and his mom hears him, so she goes in, and he, she sees that he cut a smile into his face, similar to the Joker, and he cut his eyelids off, too. Maybe he burned them off. I'm like, no, I think he just cut his eyelids off. And then, uh, so his mom sees this, and the first thing she does, she, she goes into her room, and she tells her husband to get the gun. So I'm like, 
So I'm like, wait, you're, you're going to kill your own child? <laughs> like, I understand, you know, why you're concerned, but your first instinct is to kill your own kid? Like, maybe get him some help or something? Or, I don't know. I don't know. And so Jeff did end up killing them. But the thing is, she didn't know that he was going to kill them. So I feel like a parent's first instinct that they see their kid in such, you know, mental distress, their first instinct is probably going to be get them help, not we have to murder him. I don't know, that just didn't make sense. I, I Like I said, I don't completely remember everything that happened, but those are just some of the, the key things there that I just thought, you know, like, <laughs> what were they thinking? It wasn't logical. So the biggest flaw in the story, by far, the by fall by far is that it was completely illogical jeff the character is completely overrated all he does is kills people it's not that unique so yeah overall i would probably rate this story i'd probably give it a three out of ten because i have read worse i i have definitely read worse stories than this but this is by no means a good story so I'd give it a good three out of ten what did you guys think of the story that was it i will see you on the flip side